Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I will be stuffing my paycheck number two. For anyone who's new to my channel, on here I do my cash budgeting for my paycheck. Basically what I do in my videos is I show you guys exactly where each and every dollar goes. So into my expenses, my daily cash, and my sinking funds. In the video, I will be showing you guys how much money I put into each category. We will be working with a total of $1,121 from my second paycheck of May. Um, I know a lot of you are curious if this is my full paycheck. This isn't my full paycheck. I do put a portion of it towards a savings account that I do have and other things. So basically, this is just how much I am stuffing into these categories and if you guys also want to start doing this yourself um, just know you don't have to share every single detail in your financing I mean the more I guess the better it helps out everyone but you don't have to share every single dollar so I do start off with my expenses first um, each category basically here I have how much I'm going to be stuffing and then the ending balance but I don't usually put that in there because I count them at the end of every month so basically with my rent i am stuffing 206 this week and for my categories here i have the due amount and i just divide that by four to tell me how much i owe every single week for four weeks so 206 this week so 200 a five and a one and i typically don't count any of these categories here until the end of the month here if you're curious how i do this just watch my bill exchange video i think that was two videos ago and i basically count out how much i save over the month for my expenses i am one month ahead for anyone who's curious that's why i have the money available in here and then every month i put it into the bank and they take it out as the due date comes up next is utilities and utilities is getting 20 dollars this week my utilities did go down a bunch because I wasn't budgeting that correctly, but now I have it all figured out. Uh, next is phone bill, and my phone bill is getting $37. So I'll do a 20, a 10, a 5, and two ones. Next is subscription, and that is getting $16. I'll do a 10, a five, and a one. Next is car insurance, that is getting 27. Do a 20, a five, and two ones. And if you are interested in anything I have in my video here, they're always linked down below. Um, majority of the things on here, I do have it on my shop. If you're interested, I do have an Etsy shop. Next is car payment. That is getting 75. So I'll do a 50, a 20, and a 5. All right. So that is all for my expenses here. So I'll set this to the side here. Okay, so in my daily cash, I do use my small mini binder here. Um, I just switched it up all the time. So it just, it really just depends on what I'm feeling. Starting off with date, day is getting 20. I do have some cash in here. So I have $6. I am going to save this and set that to the side for my 5 and $1 challenge later. And I'll just put a 20 in there. Next is gas. Gas is getting 20. Next is groceries and groceries is getting 60. So 20, 40 and $60. I am planning on doing what I spend in a week. Probably this week I'm going to try to do it so you guys can see exactly how much I spend. 
and also keep in mind for these my boyfriend also does stuff on top of what i stuff so if i do record the videos we are going to be spending a little bit more than what i usually stuff in here next is kiyomi's food and that is getting twenty dollars as well and whatever i have left in her food i just roll that over because sometimes we do purchase her food in bulk next is personal that is getting 20 this week Okay, and in toiletries, that is getting $20. We did spend a lot this week as well. Um, we were celebrating a friend's birthday, so we did a lot of shopping. Next is give, and give is getting $5, and I'll do them in ones. So one, two, three, four, and $5. Okay, and that is all for my daily cash here. All right, and starting off with my sinking fund and my brown binder here, we have Kiyomi's Emergency. That is getting $25 this week. I'll do a 20 and a five. So now in her emergency, I have 1, 2, 3, 320, 40, 60, 85, 385. Next is my emergency, and that is also getting 25 this week. and a five so now in my emergency i have one thousand one two three three twenty forty sixty eighty four four twenty twenty five thirty thirty five okay next is health and health is getting twenty dollars Now in health, I have 1, 2, 220, and 240. Next is parents. Parents is getting $20. Parents now has 1,000, 20, 40, 65. I do have these placeholders on my shop if you're interested. The ones I do show in my video, they're just basically the ones where like if there's something where I messed up or I don't really like how it turned out, I just keep it and use those. So I did swap out a lot of the colorful placeholders that I had in here for just the ones that aren't in the best condition but still usable. In car maintenance, I am stuffing $20. Now in car maintenance, I have 500, 6, 650, 670, and 690. I also did see a comment about how to, like, I forgot what the, the, the argument was, but I know you guys know if I'm just not reusing the same money over and over when I do take it out. Um, I believe that's what the comment said. I do put all the money when I replace it with a placeholder into my bank account. I did used to show it in my video. I mean, if you guys are interested, I can continue to show you guys that I do have that money in my bank account. I know it's a little bit confusing. I'm not sure if they were like attacking, like basically me saying I'm lying about it or it's just kind of curious on how the process work. It is a little bit confusing because I had to also learn myself how it works. But I do have the money in my bank because I don't feel safe having too much cash in hand. That's why I use my placeholder. And I believe that is a purpose 
for them, not for someone to lie about how much money they have or how much money they're stuffing. Next is household. That is getting $10. So now I have 10, 20, 30, and $40 in household. Household did go down. I had my TV mounted for me, so I just paid someone really 40 bucks to get my TV mounted. Next is Christmas, and that is getting 60. 20, 40, and 60 dollars. Christmas, Christmas now has 500, 6, 650, 670, 690, 710, 730, 750, 770, and 780. And in my Christmas, I am saving up to at least $1,500. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing. I'm thinking about maybe taking a trip for Christmas, but still unsure yet. Next is Debt Snowball, and that is getting $100. In Debt Snowball, I now have $1,000, $2,000, $2,000, $1,000, and $50. So $2,000. One hundred and fifty dollars. Debt snowball is to pay off my student loans. Um, I haven't yet made that video, but I promise you guys I will because I know how important debt snowball is. So that is all for this binder here. Moving into my clear binder. Starting off with my family. Family is getting twenty dollars this week. So 20. Now in family, I have 1, 2, 3, 320, 40, 45, 50, 52, 54, and 55 dollars. Okay, next is gifts. Gifts is getting 10 dollars. So now in gifts, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, and 110, and 120. Next is wardrobe, and the wardrobe is getting $5. Wardrobe now has 100, 120, 40, 65. So in Kiyomi this week, we aren't stuffing anything in there, so we'll skip that. And membership isn't getting anything either. And last is vacation, and vacation is getting sixty dollars. So twenty, forty, and sixty. Vacation, I have one, two, three, four, five, five, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, six, six, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, five, six, eighty, five. And that definitely is going to go down pretty quickly here because I do have to rent a car. And that is all for my clear binder. Moving into our challenges. I have my 10k $5 and $1 challenge here. So we do have a $6 here. So I'll be putting the one into the $1 challenge. I do have these envelopes on my shop, but they're currently out of stock right now. So I know there was a lot of comments about that, but I have that on my shop here. And next is my $5 challenge. And last is the 10K. So I decided this week I will be stuffing 200 for my 10K challenge. And let's color in. I will be coloring in this 200 
Actually, I want to change the color so they're not the same right next to each other. So we have that 200 color done. So I have one and 200. And that will be going into my 10K challenge. It's a mess in here. So I usually just stuff the cash. I do count these at the end of every month. So I count whatever cash I have in here and then replace them with a placeholder. All right, guys, so that is all for this week's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.